Welcome back to another installment of The Flash. In our last installment, what we saw was Barry Allen, The Flash, go up against Dr. Alchemy. And this Dr. Alchemy is Albert Desmond. Now, Barry tried to fight off against him at the Flash Museum. But at the end of their fight, Barry was unable to run anymore. And he was helpless as Dr. Alchemy got away. Barry can't save people. Barry can't save Central C. He's weak. He's helpless. But what will he do as this new threat, Dr. Alchemy, looms over his sea? What we're going to find out today as we dive into Flash number 765 through 766. Barry Allen walks into Iron Heights Penitentiary and after his last fight with Dr. Alchemy his powers are gone and he's trying to figure out what did Dr. Alchemy do to beat Flash? What did he do to take away his powers? And uh, Barry looks into the containment cell that Dr. Alchemy once was in. But as you remember, Dr. Alchemy used molten lava. Well, he turned all the walls and um, the Iron Heights into molten lava, killed a bunch of people, and got out. But Barry's in here. He's looking for stuff. Now, he starts to find evidence. He sees these certain words that are in Latin. He starts to translate it. And these live words translate into different names different alchemists throughout the history and he's trying to connect the dots but it feels like there's more to this case than meets the eye it's not just one villain dr alchemy there may be more now he then thinks i need to get this done quick i need to figure out what dr alchemy did to me before he wreaks any more havoc on central c and we shift and we see dr alchemy he has the book He's wreaking havoc. He has the Philosopher's Stone. It's a very epic image as you see all these people at Central City bang and Dr. Alchemy is just taking over. You see all these different crime sprees. All these different things he's doing like ripping people. He's causing people to uh, become like balloons and they're floating in the sky. He's doing some bad stuff. Now, Barry walks out of Iron Heights. But as he walks out, he knows that he is helpless right now. He doesn't have his speed. And he looks around and he's happy that he doesn't have to stay in Iron Heights. He sees Trickster, he sees all his villains, and he knows that if they knew he used the Flash, and that Flash didn't have his powers, they'd be out of Iron Heights in a second. They would try to kill the Flash in a heartbeat. Now, he goes to walk out, but the buzzers beep, and one of the security guards say, Can you empty your pockets please, Mr. Allen? Now, Barry says, Oh, sorry, my mind was elsewhere. And the security guard says, no worries, that's what these metal detectors are for. Can't get in or out here if you got something metal on you. Now, Barry puts his keys inside, but then the detector beeps again. And Barry says, wait, what'd you say? And the security guard says, I say, if you have anything metal on you, there's no way you're getting in or out of here. Now, Barry realized that the thing that's preventing him from getting out of Iron Heights is his flash ring. Turns out, as he gets out, he does get out of Iron Heights, guys. But he gets out and realizes that the thing that's stopping him from running fast is the flash ring. Dr. Alchemy did something to it. He immobilized it. He stopped it. He messed with the flash ring so Barry takes it off and all of a sudden he can run fast again. He says, yes, talk about overthinking it. He overthinked this entire situation. So he runs fast, makes it back to the lab and Barry says to Iris, just what I thought. Alchemy converted the Lysinium in my ring into something else. I don't recognize the composition. He turned it uh, to, but clearly, it has negative repulsion to the speed force. Iris says, like two magnets with the same polarity, so there's no way you could have accessed the speed force with it on. Barry says, precisely. I can't believe I didn't see it before. Iris says, well, don't be so hard on yourself. Alchemy might be a better chemist, but he's lousy at grammar. Philosopher's Stone should be apostrophe, not apostros. She starts going through Alchemy's grammar, but that's when Barry says, he's not a better chemist, he just uses tricks. If he were a better chemist, he would succeed in recreating the stone by now. Iris says, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that he's better, I mean he's more devious or something. You are a much better chemist. Now, Barry says, thank you. Now, Iris starts flirting with Barry and says how she wants something more. She's actually, she wants to be a Barry instead of being in this lab. But what Barry tells her is, Oh, I exactly, I know exactly what comes next with us. And they says, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to try to recreate the Lyceum. So Iris is trying to be with Barry, have a great time. And Barry just like pushed her off and got focused on this work. So he looks into this and Iris says, that's not what I was thinking as she walks away. 
Now, Barry recreates the lysinium, puts the ring on, and runs. Now, Barry hears from the police reports that Dr. Alchemy is attacking downtown. Barry runs, and he surprises Dr. Alchemy as he hits him in the face. He runs him fast. Yo, whack. Dr. Alchemy is hit against the wall. Barry keeps hitting him. He grabs his arm, smacks him against the wall. Then, Dr. Alchemy tries to punch, but Barry grabs his hand and then throws Dr. Alchemy on the ground once again. Yeah, crash. Now, Barry keeps stomping on uh, Dr. Alchemy's hand. Dr. Alchemy he loses the Philosopher's Stone. Barry picks up Dr. Alchemy by the neck. He says, the end's here, Alchemy. Now, Alchemy says, Barry, you've been tricked. We both have. Now, Barry says, Bear. And then, Dr. Alchemy punches Barry in the face. You're a pow. And Barry's just surprised. He's shocked that Dr. Alchemy knows his name. Now, Barry immediately runs off. They get Iris. He grabs her and runs to this cabin in Blue Valley, Nebraska. He tells her that, that Dr. Alchemy knows his identity and no one's safe and he loves her. Barry's telling Iris how he loves her and that he doesn't want her to get hurt. Now, Iris then says, Barry, your boots. And Barry's like, no, there's no way he could have found this place. Turns out Dr. Alchemy finds the safe haven that Barry takes Iris all the time. Dr. Alchemy comes to the walls, you're a boom. And Alchemy says, just like there's no way I could cut you off from the Speed Force. Where are you going to learn, Barry? I'm the superior alchemist. Now, Barry says, and yet you're going to hit the floor just like a regular one. You're a crack. And they use this different force power of the chemicals to hit the alchemy. And Iris says, what are you doing to him? And Barry says, exposing the truth. Now, that's an alchemy. Starts transforming into this old man and all these different alchemists throughout the history. And Desmond says, Flash is doing nothing, my dear. The power is coming from the stone. Just as it has the ability to transmute chemicals in objects, so it has the means to change chemicals within the human body. Rearrange that DNA to be, become any one of the souls who have possessed the Philosopher's Stone through the... Ah! He falls to the ground. Now Barry says, Desmond. And Desmond says, don't come any closer. I can't hold them off for any longer. They enter whenever they want. Now Barry says, Desmond, what are you talking about? What's happening? How do they know who I am? Now, that's when uh, Desmond says, Simon Magnus. He was a sorcerer who possessed the stone in the Middle Ages. He could see into the future, a future where Barry Allen's identity was known. So when he took over my body, we all became aware of your secret. I tried to stop them, but they were too strong. And Barry says, don't worry, Albert. Whether it's Flash or Barry Allen, I'm not letting you possess the powers of the stone. Now, Desmond says, it's too late. You've been set up right from the start. You gave up the trickster. Barry says, what? And Desmond explains that those goggles that Trickster put on Barry in the very first part of the storyline, it actually made it so Desmond all these philosophers could see Barry's every move. Pretty much see through Barry's eyes. And that's when Desmond tells Barry, what are you going to do? And Barry says, oh, that's how they found us. And Barry says, you'll never succeed. If the stone is powerful enough to cycle through its owners, it will never let you possess its powers. You need some sort of protection, some sort of, and Desmond says, barrier. And Barry says, the light sinium. And that's when Desmond smiles and says, we need the flash. We need a Barry Allen. We need an element that only you can provide. So we watch you make the light sinium. And now we have it too, and Dr. Alchemy has become all-powerful. We see Dr. Alchemy is all-powerful, and Barry is helpless. But Barry isn't helpless, though, because he still has his speed. But he's going to have to think smart, because Dr. Alchemy is very powerful now, and he can just take down Barry easily. Now, Barry runs to Dr. Alchemy, and Dr. Alchemy says, You are no match for us, Barry Allen. The Philosopher's Stone has been destroyed, and its place reigns the ultimate Dr. Alchemy. Barry punches Dr. Alchemy in the face and keeps fighting against Dr. Dr. Alchemy, but he, Dr. Alchemy keeps transforming into different philosophers throughout history. And he eventually messes with Barry's body, and Barry's body stretches, his arm stretches, and uh, Alchemy grabs his arm and flings him away. Now, Barry falls to the ground, he tries to get up, but then he says, if I can vibrate my cells, I might be able to re -solidify. Now, Alchemy says, there's only one way to defeat us, and Barry says, what is it? Recreate the Philosopher's Stone. That's what Desmond says. It appears that Desmond is actually a good guy in this case, and all the other philosophers are manipulating him, using his body to fight back. Now, Barry says, How can I trust him? Barry can't, doesn't feel like he can trust Desmond because he's built villain to him before. But Desmond says, You don't have to trust me. But what choice do you have? And he tries to hit Barry. You ask Shroom, but Barry dodges. But one of the philosophers says, 
You've been spared this time, Moral, but be warned. Your Albert Desma is the weakest of all of us. If you value his life, you will not follow us. Now, Dr. Alchemy flies away, and Barry makes it back to the Hall of Justice. And he's with John Stewart. And Barry explains to John that he has to recreate the Philosopher's Stone. That's what Desmond told him. And John Stewart says, Stop me if I'm wrong, but hasn't working with the Philosopher's Stone driven each of these alchemists mad? And Barry says, it would appear so, but maybe maybe I could be the first to do it safely. And John says, can I be of help? And Barry says, thank you, John. But between removing the cameras from my eyes and letting Iris stay here, you've already done plenty. And besides, there's really only one man who might be able to help me. Uh, I must go to him now. Now Barry runs into this other room with Iris. And we see Dr. Magnus. And Barry says, I appreciate you taking the time to speak to me, Will. And Will Magnus says, Not a problem, Barry. Anything involving the Philosopher's Stone deserves special attention. Now Iris says, Dr. Magnus, is it true the stone can have an effect on whoever creates it? Now, Will go on, goes on to say that he wasn't the one who created the Philosopher's Stone. He actually took some elements and he messed with it a little bit, but he wasn't the creator. And he says how he doesn't, he advises them not to create a new Philosopher's Stone. It could be dangerous, it could mess with Barry's mind. And Iris says how, okay, Barry, that's your answer. You should not create that. But Barry says, no, we can still make it. Barry's like, no, we can still make the Philosopher's Stone and stop Despa and all these philosophers. And Iris says, I don't know if you should do that. I think you are getting caught up into this whole thing that alchemy is a better alchemist than you, Barry. And Barry's like, no, that's not what's going on. I need to stop this villain before it gets worse. So Barry then runs. He runs into the city, the central city, and it's all messed up. The river is gold. The seas look like a dollhouse. But that's when the clouds come down as bronze, and they hit Barry. You're a crack. And alchemy comes Flying down, he says, not a good time to have your head in the clouds, Flash, especially when they're being converted to bronze. Now, Barry runs at him and says, and which Dr. Alchemy am I dealing with now? And Alchemy says, don't stand on ceremony, Barry. We're all here to destroy you. But if you must know, I'm Simon Magnus, the sorcerer who discovered your identity. Now, Barry starts to punch Alchemist in the face. But Alchemist says, you go down in history as a supreme chemist. And that's something we cannot allow. It is Dr. Alchemy who shall achieve immortality. Now, Barry, he's punching Alchemy. And Barry says, if you can see the future, then you won't be surprised by me stopping you. Now, Desmond comes into control of his body. Wait. And Barry says, Desmond. And Desmond, blood in his face, says, You can't win this, Barry. They will always push me forward when you're on the verge of victory. You need to create the stone. Now, Barry says, I've done it. I created it. Now, Desmond says, then use it. And Barry says, I've created a stone that will also protect the user from the previous alchemist tied to it. It's up to you. That's an alchemist. He drops to the ground. He starts set, uh, screaming. They won't let me, though. And then he hits Barry back. He says, Barry Allen, if you refuse to protect your people, then you will die with them. Now, Barry Barry gets up and he looks around to say, says, Dear God, he's turned the buildings into liquid acid. You have swoosh all asses around. Now, Barry runs the buildings and tries to save as many people as he can. Now, then Barry uses his hands to create like a wind feature to stop all the liquid. You have foam, man, foam. And Barry says, I have no choice. I thought creating the stone would be enough, but it's not. I've got to use the stone. Barry uses the stone and creates another element to stop the liquid and the acid. Now, that's when the alchemist says, yes, you did, Barry, you willed the stone. It appears you might very well be the greatest chemist of our time. But alas, I am the greatest manipulator. Now, by the way, guys, this is Desmond in control. He says, did you honestly think I was beholden to these inferior fools? They are my puppets, my minions through the ages. I, Albert Desmond, the true Dr. Alchemy, and all who willed the stone are under my command, including you, Barry Allen. Now bow to me. But Barry thinks, huh, he thinks that he's tricked me, but I tricked him. Turns out, he's actually reversed the effects of the Lysinium and how the stone works. He runs around Dr. Alchemy and uses enough wind to reverse the effects, and eventually Dr. Alchemy slowly turns into stone. He screams, no, and Barry beats Dr. Alchemy. Alchemy is stone. He's stuck in place. Barry looks as he's won. He has achieved 
victory. Now we see Barry one week later after the fights. He's looking at this uh, store that has a lot of rings, a lot of different jewels in it. Now this man walks out and just asks him, hey, is there a lady friend around? Are you trying to get a ring for her? So it, what this is pretty much saying, Kevin Shinnick, the writer of this, is posting this idea that May Barry is going to ask Iris to marry him very soon. Now, Barry says, no, I, I'm not thinking about that, but the man eventually gets him very to the point that Barry's like, you know what, I'll consider it. I'll come back to this place eventually when I'm ready to ask her. And the man says, you want to make sure the stone stands out for all to see. The man, Primus, tells Barry that this place is the perfect place for a great ring for his future wife. Now you see Barry makes it back to Iron Heights, and you see he has brought Desmond, the new Dr. Alchemy, in there. He's stoned. He's defeated. Now Barry says, I place Dr. Alchemy here at Iron Heights until I can find a cure. Seeing him serves as a reminder to myself. Creating a philosopher's stone might be a great achievement for a chemist, but finding a way to help Desmond to commit to saving a human being is the greatest achievement for a hero. I think I lost sight of that for a moment, but I promise not to let that happen again, no matter how fast I'm going. Barry runs off as the story concludes. So yeah guys, that was the conclusion to Kevin Shinnick's first story arc on The Flash. And overall, I think Kevin Shinnick did a great job. Um, for his opening story arc, I actually really liked it. He really depicted Dr. Alchemy very well, seeing all the different philosophers, and seeing Albert Desmond try to manipulate Flash. That was very entertaining. He actually uh, depicted Trickster well in the first part of the storyline, but overall, he's a great writer, and I want to see him write more Flash comics. Now, the artwork by Will Conrad was great as well, but I feel like it did better when it was not heavily inked, alright? In like, I think it was the issue number 765, the first half of the book, it was light inked and it looked amazing, guys. It looked really good, but when it's heavily inked and stuff, it, the art doesn't look as great. It's still solid artwork, but it looks better when it's not as inked, right? In my opinion. But still, the artwork is pretty solid, the writing was good, and seeing Dr. Alchemy go in the spotlight and attack Barry, and Barry have to deal with this, and he goes to different DC characters, like uh, Will, Magnus, and Jon Stewart, those are some cool cameos. But I also like Barry and Iris' relationship in this, and the whole tease at the end that they make it married. That was a good, you know, good scene to set up future things. But overall, this is a solid storyline that it gives me hope that if Kevin Shinnick returns after Endless Winter, because guys, if you don't know, the next issue will be an Endless Winter tie-in. Actually, it won't be a tie-in. It'll actually be a part in the main event. But then we'll have Future State. And then Mars will be back to the main Flash series, which we don't know if Kevin Shinnick will be continuing or if he'll be a new writer, but if Kevin Shinnick does continue, I'm excited to see what he does next, alright? But yeah, I guess overall, I'll give, I'll give these two issues, issue number 765 through 766, an 8.7 out of 10. I enjoyed reading these, I enjoyed explaining them to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. But guys, if you liked the video, give a big thumbs up, comment below your thoughts on this storyline written by Kevin Shinnick and drawn by Will Conrad, and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Flash video. But yeah guys, thanks for watching, and peace out.